I'm a Chicano artist. Uh, Chicano artist. Uh, basically, the definition of a Chicano is somebody who makes the impossible possible. That's like the short definition. In actuality, it's a politicized Mexican American. But I like to think that Chicanos make do with what they have. So sometimes the project dictates photography, sometimes it's drawing, sometimes it's sculpture. It's whatever the need is. Uh, I don't like to like put myself in a box. Uh, there's people that see me primarily as a photographer. Some people see me primarily as a painter and, a, and somebody who draws. Lately I've been doing more uh, what they call street art, so-called street art. I like to, to reference it as post-graffiti. Like, it's kind of a play off of post-modernism. So this is after graffiti, what comes after. Uh, the work sometimes is, involves a projection of light. Uh, the next piece I'm doing in a few months involves lasers projecting on the front of a building. So it's a way of doing what people call graffiti, but it's involving light. I just love that metaphor that it's temporary. All graffiti is temporary. Either people paint over it or they wash, they wash it off. But what if it was made out of light? So I've been exploring different just different avenues of uh, this kind of temporary type of art, uh, which like so-called street art. I wouldn't call this a death mask. That's more of an American term. This is to represent what's in Spanish is called a calavera, which is a skeleton or a skull. And it's, it's traditional uh, celebration of the day of the dead in, in Mexican culture, which is a huge part of their culture. And it's a part that I personally really appreciate. The thing about Chicano art, um, sometimes people find it polarizing or that you're being too confrontational, but that's not what I'm about. I'm about inclusion. I'm about discussion. I'm about informed decisions. Uh, I noticed that a lot of non-Chicano artists use cultural references uh, like Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos, they use the Virgin Mary either as a design solution or they, they enjoy the culture um, and I thought to myself well I'm Chicano if there's anybody going to be doing that kind of work it should be me <laughs> so going through some of those icons uh, has really helped me and I think it helps the viewer because I don't want to put them off by saying oh you since you don't understand you do not have access to this I want to introduce it or reframe it or recontextualize it uh, under the eyes of a uh, Chicano Mexican American Mexican Hispanic there's like hundreds of uh, definitions and the categories of Latin people <laughs>